Good morning, my frugal fit moms and other friends that aren't moms. Welcome to today's video. I ran to the dentist this morning to get an x-ray for that. I've already seen a specialist, a periodontist, for my tooth implant. He wanted to uh, mush my teeth around somewhere with orthodontists. That was like three, four weeks ago. We moved some things around. My orthodontist is saying it looks good. So I scheduled my surgery for my implant. Now, I'm not actually gonna have a tooth there for a long time still, because I have to like screw the post into my jaw. But I went into the dentist this morning just for an updated x-ray to make sure the space was good for the measuring. So that's what I've done so far. I don't go to work today, which means it's a perfect day to record a video and a perfect day to catch up on life. I feel like working outside the home is incredibly difficult as a busy mom with lots of kids. I have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that are important to me that pull me this way and pull me this way. Not being at the house means the house falls into disarray every week. Everyone is just too busy to continue to manage it. Right now, I mean, I only work part-time outside the home, but I do teach an online class and that started this week. And that's another 20 hours a week that I'm on the computer working on stuff and, and not working on the house. I have already started a load of dishes, that's running. I have already started a load of clothes, that's running. Currently working on my grape juice. I have grapevines in my backyard and I harvested them yesterday. It's my first grape harvest from these plants ever. And so I didn't get very many, but I'm hoping <laughs> I got enough to make one batch of grape jelly. <laughs> And then I'm also over here processing some more garden stuff. So I did one last pick of my green beans. I think I'm about at the tail end because the nights are getting down to about 35 degrees. Process all of the food so it can be used and not go to waste and hopefully catch up on all of the laundry because dang, I have a lot of loads of clean clothes that need to be sorted and put away today. So let's get cracking. are done here they are check that off the list I did just finish editing a video and I put it up for you guys so if you haven't seen my one week meal plan my last one uh, go check that out I'll put it I'll put it up here <coughs> so obviously it's straining out but I can also mush the extra juice that's still in the grapes all out and I'll let this sit here for a couple of hours to let all of the juice come out. And I still have my fingers crossed that I will have enough juice for one batch, one batch of jelly. I'm gonna set these grapes to the side and let them do their thing. I wanna work on this. All of the pears are from a local tree and I already made pear butter, but I wanna make a pear jam. And the recipe I found is a vanilla pear jam, which calls for vanilla beans which I don't have and are very expensive right now. So is it worth it to go spend the money on some vanilla beans so I can make this? I'm thinking, yeah. Let's go get some vanilla beans. You gotta want it with all your might. Girlfriend, you gotta learn to fight. I know you're gonna be all right. You wanna make your 